All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. We're diving back into another review, and this time it's coming from Dogfish Head, and it is not a beer today. This is going to be Crush the Variety Pack. This is Culinary Crafted Cocktails. This is an eight pack coming in around $19.99, uh, that standard baseline price you see in most vodka sodas, seltzers, uh, all in that category. Again, right around $20 for this bad boy. Uh, two of each flavor we have. Gin Crush, Vodka Crush, Rum Crush, and Vodka Crush. So different types of canned cocktails. This is a hot sector uh, that pretty much has continued to be uh, red hot during the summer months here, guys. So we're gonna check this out from Dogfish Head. Uh, these are 7% ABV, so pretty good ABV included into these. And it actually says there are two full proof shots in every can. So there you go, that gives you a little bit of context there. I don't know the calories actually, so I imagine they're not low. We like seeing the 100 calorie baseline, but I bet you guys that uh, it's simply just not that way in this can cocktail. Uh, it just can't be, so I uh, don't know. I'm sorry, I wish I could give you that, but I can't. So where will we start? I don't know, I love, I usually like vodka if I'm gonna choose, and then I usually like uh, blood orange, so I'm gonna put blood orange last because that's high on the Richter scale. Uh, let's do rum crush, which is a pineapple and orange mixture, so let's see what we're working with. Not really a carbonation on this. You can feel it, it has a little give on the can, so let's go. Uh, slight little color to it, but not much. You have a little bit of that pineapple-y orange color. Um, hmm, looks good. Let's go to an aroma. That's orangey, that's pineapple-y. It's got a kiss of rum. It smells sweet, so, I mean, it smells like rum punch, you know, in a way. So we have culinary crafted pineapple orange flavored rum and natural flavors. Again, 7%, doesn't smell hard on the nose. Am I missing anything? I don't think so, just extra things we don't need to mention to you guys. So let's go for a cheers. It is the Rum Crush from Dogfish Head. Oh yeah. These are sweet, but, but, big but, delicious. Wow, that is, that's the punch. I'm getting that rum punch. It, it smells like there's Hawaiian punch with mangoes and pineapples. Uh, the rum is so subtle, coming in at 7%. Fresh OJ in the mix. Mm. This is delicious. I love punch though. I loved Hawaiian punch growing up. I love Dole pineapple juice. It has all of those aspects thrown into the mix. It's like jungle juice at a party, but a lot better and a lot less bacteria. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, delicious. Mm. That sets the bar pretty high, man. That was delicious. Rum crush. So gin, a lot of people love gin. It's a big category that seems to get bigger and more popular. Uh, this one has carbonation to it. Odd. I got a little bit of a carbonation pop. Uh, I'm not typically a gin guy, just throwing that out there. I like it, but I'm not a big cocktail guy. I don't drink a lot of liquor. I drink beers when I have chance to drink. Um, typically not a big liquor guy unless I'm sipping a little bourbon, having a cigar a couple times a year. That's about it, guys. So let's go for a pour. Looks like it has a little bit of color, a little bit of cloudiness like you'd expect in gin. Uh, and we have lemon and lime, by the way, on this gin crush, so. Little botanicals. A little bit of sweetness, a little bit of lemon lime twist. Let's go in. Cheers, Gin Crush. Yeah. Okay. The gin's pretty pointy on this, so you can feel it, you can smell it, you can taste it. Um, the lemon lime mixture, uh, subtle. It's a little peppery. There's a little bit of seasoning in this, if you will. Um, it's pretty good though, it's pretty good. There's a touch of sweetness, a little bit softer, a little bit zestier having that citrus in there and the gin's a little bit more pronounced maybe than we saw than the rum crush. The rum was a little bit more hidden with that uh, punch feeling to it. But nonetheless, still tasty. It just, this is more of a pronounced gin taste. Um, I'm more susceptible to tasting gin. I'm a little bit more sensitive to it. I think many people would like this since it does have this lime sweetness uh, along with the tartness that comes in the lime and lemon. It has all of those things. These are good. So there's a reason the calories aren't listed, guys. It's sweet. Everything's very sweet here. Calories are probably quite high. I'd say at least a 130 to 150 in, in the can. I'm just guessing based on things I've seen. Uh, so let's go to the Vodka Crush Cranberry. I'm sorry, grapefruit and pomegranate. Little pop, little pop on this one. So 
Yes, the glass is getting a little mixed up. It's okay. So this has more color, guys. A lot more deep salmon and pink color. So uh, grapefruit and pomegranate piercing on the looks. Let's go to an aroma. Cleaner. I'm a vodka guy. If I'm going to drink liquor, it's going to be vodka. If not bourbon. Soft, fruity nose to it. I mean, the pomegranate, the grapefruit, they're very astringent, but they're soft and delicate with that vodka. So let's go in. Cheers. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Ooh. Fresh squeezed grapefruit. Soft, pungent pomegranate. That's good. That's really good. There's a nice little sour tartness to this. Um, the vodka, hardly noticeable at 7%. I imagine if these warm up, you may feel them, but I don't really even feel them going down on my chest. Um, beautifully curated. This is a good concoction, uh, a concoction of, of flavor. And some people say, oh, you're mixing flavors out of the can here. Mm. That one's really nice. There is sweetness, but it's countered by the tart grapefruit. Like there's, there's just fresh squeezed grapefruit in this bright pomegranate kind of uh, intricate flavor that's uh, put into a complex in that can. It's just very good vodka. It's very unnoticeable. Um, crushable because I like the tartness. Mmm. These are dangerous. These are good flavored, bold flavored can cocktails. So that one had the biggest pop and that was the Vodka Crush Blood Orange and Mango. A lot going on in there. So again, I love this flavor, but I think the sleeper pick that I didn't see coming was that Rum uh, Crush. It's very sweet, but it was so delicious and I'm still thinking about it on my fourth pour here. So that off yellowy mango orange, it, you know, it is what it is, guys. It's it's not super dark, but um, it's not super light either or clear. So let's go in. Ooh. Ooh. That blood orange. Really upon, abundant and, and just punch in my nostrils. Orangey. Citrusy. Slight tropical note to it. Adding with that mango. Let's dive in. Cheers. Vodka crush. Well, vodka crush, blood orange, mango. Mmm. Oh, so good. That is so good. These are all really tasty, guys. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna layer it down over and over again. These are very, very tasty. You have to want the calories. You have to want the bold flavor. But it's there's nothing artificial. This is a legit canned cocktail. They put culinary crafted cocktails. They're not lying. They're very delicious. This blood orange is so bold, um, but it's fresh squeezed blood orange. Just. <laughs> Right into that glass. Should I do that noise again? <laughs> okay. Having fun with this review. These are tasty. You have to really like cocktails. Um, but these, beautifully put together. Nice boldness. Nice sweetness. Not artificial. Um, very natural tasting. And it, it says what's on the can. It's exactly what's listed. So, wow. Very orangey. Very tropical. Very sweet. But very drinkable. The 7% hidden so well. Ranking. Ouch. How do you rank these? See, I love these flavors though, so I'm partial to this one maybe because I love it. Gin, I'm gonna have to put last because I don't like gin. I'm not a huge gin guy. If you like gin, you'll love this. This one was probably the least sweet maybe, along with the grapefruit. That was probably the least sweet, a little bit more tart. These had nice tart notes to them. Um, Still sweet though, so how do I rank these? Wow, the rum, the rum crush is my sleeper pick no matter what. The pineapple and orange, so good, but so sweet. Um, it's a little too sweet, so I'm gonna put it second. Um, the the vodka blood orange, I love blood orange, so good. Blood orange first, rum crush, pineapple orange second. Okay, you get that. Uh, the Vodka Crush Grapefruit is delicious, but I'm gonna put it third because those two are just, they're simply better, even though I love this one too. This is the best for drinkability. Got the tartness, got a little bit less sweetness. Uh, and then just cause I don't like gin as much as the other options guys, I'm putting the Gin Crush last. If you love gin, you'll like these. These are great options. This is a great pack from Dogfish Head, bravo. Um, guys, get these while you can. I hope you can get them. They're worth a try. If you like canned cocktails, you'll really love these. Uh, it is what it is. I'm Dan. I'm over and out. It's been another review.
Cheers, guys.